In this tutorial, we will learn about VBA code to arrange columns in required sequence or we can say sorting of columns with VBA code. So here on this sheet, we can see that data is in five columns. However, what I want is that column A should be at first sequence. In the same manner, after column A, I want column B, then C, then column D, and then column E. Although we can manually cut and paste columns and arrange all the columns or we can say sorting of columns can be done manually. But when there is a need of automation of report or developing VBA code, then we can create a macro or we can write VBA code that will complete this task. So here we can see that we have a button. So when I click on this button, then what has happened? We can see that all the columns are arranged in required manner or I would say as expected. So what is the VBA code for this and how we can develop that VBA code that we will learn in this tutorial. So first of all, what I will do, I will copy this data and I will open new Excel file. On new Excel file, I will paste this data. Let me increase width of columns. And then I will go to developer tab and insert. And from here, I will select ActiveX control. And from ActiveX control, I will drag and drop a small command button. Then I will double click on this command button so that I can write required VBA code that can sort data or that can arrange columns in required sequence. So let me double click on this button and let's see what is the VBA code for this task. I will start with declaring variables. So dim new column underscore order as variant then new index as integer and once I press enter all the formatting is done automatically then some more variables dim found as range and one more variable counter as integer so we have declared required variables then the next VBA line is for placing the column headings what we are expecting at the end of this task so let me write new column order variable. So I will copy from here, paste it equal to, I will define an array and let me show you the expected result says that we need column A in the first sequence. So how we can do that? We will write here in VBA window column headings in required sequence. So here I will write column underscore A then column underscore B then these column 
headings could be anything as per the given data but in my data column headings are like column underscore a column underscore b and so on so let me write all column headings in the required sequence then column underscore b then the last column is column underscore e then i will make use of counter variable so i will initialize that counter equal to one now i will write one loop statement and that loop statement is for loop so i can say for i will press ok and this loop will end with end keyword sorry next so within this for and next i will write some more vba code and for then space new index the variable that we have declared here i am copying each variable so that there is no mistake uh, i would say typo mistake new index equal to one function i will use that is l bound and within l bound function again i will copy new column order that is required within l bound function to u bound and then again same variable next line of vba code is set pound equal to rows we have column headings in first row so within inverted commas dot find in brackets again new column order and in brackets new index variable then look in colon equal to excel values and look at colon equal to excel whole so here we are getting some error so let me check what is the error uh, let me put here comma and then some more code search order colon equal to xl by columns then search direction equal to xl next then match case equal to false bracket close and formatting is done just to make appearance properly so here i will press one space underscore press enter so this code will be set in next line so what is the next code we are almost near to finish our code next is i will use two if functions or i would say nested if if not found is nothing then i will close this and if so here within this if 
found dot column is not equal to counter then what should happen found dot entire column dot cut then columns counter dot insert while inserting shift colon equal to excel to right that means shifting columns towards right and then for this if we can say closing statement and if and here we can say counter equal to counter plus one so let me maximize this window so these are the variable declaration then column order that we required and these are the column headings this is counter variable new index then some more vba code and then if conditions counter increased by one and one by one counter will be increased then for and next loop let me delete extra spaces and some formatting so that code is easy to understand and maybe we can give here next new underscore index so I am expecting that this VBA code will arrange all the columns that are given in data we have taken example in required manner so if I minimize this VBA window and this time or uh, as of now we are on design mode if I click on design mode then we can click on this command button and this will arrange the columns so before arranging columns let me reshuffle column sequence I will select column A then drag towards right column D at first sequence these two columns after C so we can say that now columns are not in sequence but we have written VBA code so when I will click on this button there is some error let's see what is the error there is some mistake here while giving a space and now let me minimize this window again let me reshuffle columns so that we can try our VBA code if it is working now when I click on this columns are arranged so this is how we can develop VBA code to arrange columns or VBA code for column sorting. Now we can make changes in the caption of button by going to developer tab design then right click and properties 
and here we can change the caption. So thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like it, please subscribe. In case you need VBA code or this Excel workbook, write to Excel destination at the rate gmail.com. Thank you.